And hello to you from Hertfordshire. The venue for this game is Vicarage Road. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Watford, and they take on Arsenal. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. You know, it's always a tantalising prospect watching Martin Odegaard close up. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. And so the initial 11 for Watford. Well, 4 4 2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Alex Lacazette. Potentially one to savour. Arsenal get this game underway. Playing with purpose and control. Possession one. Cathcart. And an astute piece of defending. Martin Odegaard. Now Lacazette. Well, he's given it away. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Well, later in the game he might have seen yellow, but not at this early point. Yeah, but I'm with the referee. It's a foul, but no card. Martin Odegaard, Martinelli, Jacker with it. Every pass hitting its target. Can they nudge in front? And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. Really good challenge. Bukayo Saka. Lacazette here. Careless in possession. Martin Odegaard. And waiting for teammates to arrive on the scene. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. However, a well thought out piece of defending.
Corner kick played in, foiling them effectively. Oh, nice ball over the top. White. Thomas now. Can he take the chance? It's got to be. And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Arsenal have given it away. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Gabriel Martinelli. Jacker with it. A fine reading of the situation. Well, inching towards half-time, and probably fair to say the fans were hoping for a little bit better than this. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attack in play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass it into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker, and be more positive in 1v1 situations, I think they'll get back into this. Lacazette. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Went in strongly, decisively. Kieran Tierney. Marcinelli. And space for the cross. Granite Jacker. They really look after the ball when they have it. He takes aim. Superb block. That's not a bad ball. Well, not quite the cross he was hoping for. Shielding the ball superbly. That is that for the first half here. Well, Alex Lacazette, when he's on song, really can be a captivating player. And Stuart, I know he's caught your attention so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Edo Kayembe. Now Sizoko. King. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Partey. Now Lacazette. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Tierney. And it will be an Arsenal free kick. the substitution now he's played it short here Saka Partey great opportunity and a goal they've had it to the lead much-needed security. Oh, 
Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Second goal for them here. Well, as you can see, Arsenal have had most of the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. And we're into the final half hour. Cross could be useful. Now you've got to conclude that it was completely overhit. Perfect example of how to put in a tackle, and a corner will be next. Well, this has to be their way back into the game. The crowd are certainly playing their part. And time for the change now. Who can he pick out? And the no-nonsense clearance. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. And they will make the change now. Martin Odegaard and Lacazette good technique displayed he might yet finish pulls it back and that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again Favouring the short one. Xhaka. And here's Partey. Can they stop it going in? And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. So back with the action, and Arsenal sprinting away with ease. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. So the final whistle almost upon us. And this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, they just never got going. People will point fingers towards the centre-backs and keeper. And to be fair, they've been poor. No doubt about that. But they haven't had much protection. There's been so much space for their opponents to operate in. And they've had a field day. The final whistle can't come soon enough. Granite Jacker. 
Just 10 minutes to go. Difficult to stop him. This looks interesting. Thomas now. Martin Odegaard. Is this the moment? Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, here you can see it again. He's gone for placement over power, and it's a brilliant finish. Kessia. There's a slide draw pass. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. How about the short corner? Gabriel. Thomas now. Arsenal have given it away. Kayembe. Ismail Assar. Kiko Femenia. And it's Dennis. Edo Kayembe, able to get a body in the way. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Thomas and there goes the final whistle well suffice it to say the Watford fans won't be going home happy following this defeat well oh dear Derek that was a worrying display they were completely outplayed in almost every department the coach has got a lot of work to do before the next game well the cameras zooming in on Alex Lacazette after what he offered tonight well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.